Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Today is the day when we're hopefully going to make bales, grass bales, which will be wrapped eventually when we can afford the wrapper, and also we're going to be drilling the field over here. Now, Chainsaw is going to start off by doing a load of trees, because that is how we make money um, in the background. I'm going to analyse the extended part of this field over here. Obviously, eventually, this is all going to be the same field. It's all going to be analysed. But we want to get this section drilled. It will be a little while before we can do the wrapping because we need to get £17,000 for the baler and 15000 for the wrapper itself. But I think, yeah, this is still the preferred approach. We don't really want to go with the small pit idea. We don't want to get into any kind of glitching of pits or not having enough space in a small pit because there is a serious amount of grass there. We, we both prefer the idea of doing silage bells. So that's what we're going to do, funded by trees. Thankfully we do have £7,000, not nothing. <laughs> that would be, well, uh, what was it, £32,000 we need in total? Uh, that would be quite a, a lot of trees that we'd have to sell to get that far. Um, but anyway, let's just do one, maybe two more samples after this. Uh, might be able to do just one actually. That would be good. Yep, okay. And that's going to be a few hundred pounds to have those samples analysed. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll watch the money disappear. Sadly, we're going to be down to six something. Probably like six, five hundred, seven hundred. And that was fast. And yeah, most of that field, which we have already cultivated, is, sun is loamy sand. But it looks like probably the rest of it is going to be sandy loam. All of which are good. That's all good. Not a bad soil type. Um, so let's go and put this back. We're going to drill what we have here. Um, I think it's, it was August, so we will put in. Ah, well, if we put in like wheat or barley, it's not going to be ready when the price is high. So I'm wondering. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I actually don't know. It's a terrible time of year. Maybe soybeans again? No, we don't want to keep doing soybeans. Do not want soybeans. <laughs> Let me have a look. Um, where? Oh, hang on. What am I? We have seasonal growth off. That's why I'm getting confused. I actually want this. Yes, what we want to do. Canola. Now you see, the price will be drifting away at the time. Maybe sorghum. Maybe sorghum. Probably sorghum. Give Chainsaw space because he's felling trees into the yard here. My drill is just over there. There's a direct drill, which is nice. We don't have to do any cultivating first. And well, I hope we've got enough seed. It looks promising. If anything, moving that has helped Chainsaw. Yeah, so. When these silage bells are ready and sold, we're going to make so much money. Not only that, but that will probably coincide with harvesting that field there behind us, and that's going to give us quite a lot of money. So we're close. We're getting much closer to being successful. I think, yeah, we're putting a lot of uh, time and, and money into the silage because it is so worth it. Yeah, we'll just do this. Obviously going into all of the green area too, all the weedy area. But it will get rid of the weeds, but they'll regrow and we can use a weeder.
Right, so Chenzo is about to sell the wood. There we go. <laughs> good timing. Uh, very, very good there. Uh, what was it? Over £11,000. So we're up at fifth, almost £16,000 now. Very, very close to being able to sell... Oh, sorry, it's by the baler, but when we sell some more wood, we'll be at that point. And then all of that can be baled. And then we just need to make another 15000 which I don't think will be too difficult to get the wrapper. We're going to swap in a second. I'm going to do a load of wood. Chainsaw's going to take over from me. Uh, there isn't actually a massive amount left to do. Yes, I didn't think we'd reach enough to actually buy the baler now, so that is the best plan, I would say. I think it's easy to suppose if we just swap setups. If I just get out of this one and walk across to his one, uh, that's the, uh, the best. Already 11.3 hours on this tractor, amazing. Ah yes, it also needs to be rolled, so Chainsaw will not be short of a job. There we go. Just wait to swap over. And off we go. Let's load up a full load of wood. I can see a good clearing now. At least that's given us space to be able to fell the trees into instead of felling them into the yard. <laughs> like on top of all the equipment. Not the best idea ever. Yeah, I, we actually do own, I think, a fair chunk of the land back here as well. But really the goal was to clear all the trees this side of the rock so we can properly expand that field. Now, as you know, I'm not very good at doing trees. Uh, and also we haven't gone around with the cultivator, so it's going to be quite difficult to see all the bits. I'll probably fell as we go, though. It'd be much easier to do that. Whoops. Oh, crikey. Yeah, much easier to do that, I would say. We're going to have to put the cultivator back onto the tractor. We'll put the trailer in the yard so we can actually see what we're doing. Uh, I'd like to have the red cultivator, ideally. Although, where is it? Uh, there it is. So let's get loading. Okay, that'll do. So we'll just put this one on top, and we'll be on our way. Hopefully this one does not cause an issue. I mean, it probably will, actually. Yeah, it should be right. Okay. Now I'm hoping there is quite a lot of money's worth here. Obviously not enough to be able to get the wrapper as well, but it will certainly be enough to get us to the amount required for the baler, and we should have a nice, comfortable amount left over after that. Whoops. Oh no, there is a trailer behind me. <laughs> that was not good. Right, okay. Let's roll. I'm thinking £8,000 plus a bonus. We'll have to see. Okay, here we are. So, press the button. Wow, that's pretty much what I predicted. 8,044 plus 473. 
So we're going to take the trailer back, we'll come and get the baler. Unless, of course, Chainsaw is ready for it. We'll just see who's ready first. And we will go from there. But what we're going to be left with, we're going to have probably about £8,000 left, roughly. Yeah, he's still doing the rolling. So, if nothing else, we'll go and get the uh, baler. Seventeen thousand pounds. I think we'll keep everything else as standard. Only a hundred and twenty-five centimeter belts, so that is going to mean a lot of wrapping, essentially. Seven and a half thousand we're left with. Uh, so yeah, it won't take much. It really won't take much at all to actually get the fifteen for the wrapper. Just one more load of trees. Oh, we don't have the Baylor extension mod. That means I have to be extra vigilant to make sure I keep stopping in time. We can have the automatic drop, though. Oh, it looks like this is still quite a wide swath. I have to be extra careful. Right, oh, it's only 3,500 litres for every bale. That's pretty bad. But if you compare it to being loose, you really don't get much in each forage wagon. And we'd not only have to pick it up once, but also we'd have to pick it up twice. Get it out of the pit again to get it sold. Oh, crikey, this is this is going to be quite painful. Um, oh, oh. No, oh, it could have been worse. Okay then, let's make a good start. I don't think we're going to do this in one time lapse, but we will see. That's quite a lot of bales. Do we have a counter? Oh, we do. 45. 45 and counting. Uh, this is probably 50. All of which need to be wrapped. And all of which need to be transported, loaded and transported to the sell point. I actually don't know what the best price is for silage. Um, well, January is the best time. 343. Three. So we're heading in the right direction, yeah, we're actually here right now, uh, but they'll need to ferment, so they'll probably be ready to sell about here, but we'll likely keep hold of them until the price is very, very good. Yes, it couldn't actually be a worse time. Typical. Um, yeah, anyway. I'll keep this going. 
I think Chainsaw is just doing another load of wood. He must be, uh, is he actually at the cell point? Where is he? Oh no, he's stood in the yard. But yeah, he'll be selling that pretty soon. And then he can obviously get the wrapper. Some of the swaths are too wide and yeah, I've missed them a bit. Almost there. I think this is the final swath. I, I don't know why in multiplayer the bale spawns outside the bale chamber and then it teleports inside when it's ready for it to be unloaded. It was already out. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, we'll just whiz up here. Yeah, it probably won't be 50 actually. It looks like it is going to be 47. so many. And we do own the baler of course because no leasing is allowed in this series. So there we go, 47 bales need to be wrapped and loaded. And our trailers are pretty small. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a job, but there will be two of us when it comes to clearing the field. I don't know exactly how we're going to go about things, we might have to just put them all to one side to begin with to wait for the price to increase because really we want to uh, cultivate that field and drill it, ideally. I should probably lift up the pickup. Yeah, it's a good load. I'll put the bale spike on and we'll put a cultivator on the back. Because, yeah, I think we're going to have to move them twice. We're going to have to move them sort of out the field first and then move them again to put them onto the trailer. In a few months' time. There we go. Okay then, so Chainsaw has just sold the wood. I had to restart the game because my uh, recording software stopped. And we do have the money. Okay, so Chainsaw has got the bell wrapper. And yeah, with this we should be able to just load directly onto the trailer. So really it is a one person job. And they won't be that heavy because yeah, they're the smallest bales. So on it goes. Yeah, I don't know how well this will work when there's like already bales on there, because it might, when it does that, when it expands, it might push them around. They might roll. So we'll see. Maybe it's worth using a separate loader. I don't know. I think it probably will be, but for the time being, at least, it's going well. We have got the bales produced, and they're now being wrapped. So fermentation can start, and. Um, yeah, we're not going to get many on. Yeah, so they're going to have to go into the yard. Wait for the price to increase. But that is it for my video. Because, well, there's not a lot I can do. But we'll be back doing this next time. Stacking in the yard. And it will be all good. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.